Hello guys, welcome to Birds Benz King. As you can see today we have the EQS at the aerodynamic center of Mercedes-Benz. In today's video I will show you the full process of how the aerodynamics work. And Mercedes-Benz is very proud of its EQS because it reaches a drag coefficient of 0.20. And that actually means it is one of the best aerodynamic series production vehicle on the road. Already in the front we know that the EQS has a closed grille with a Mercedes star in the center. It is not the case as you read mostly on internet that the electric vehicles don't need any cooling. It actually has a smaller gap in the front bumper, also wider, because the cooling system is definitely needed when the car is standing still and charging. Some of the most significant aerodynamic changes on the EQS are for example here at the A-pillar. This black line increases the range with approximately 5 kilometers. And you might be thinking, what is the value add of the door handles? Well actually, this adds another 500 meters. So I've got the tablet right here, which visualizes the air flows coming from the nozzle over into the vehicle the EQS. And there you can actually see that at the A-pillar it gets very efficient. Also noticeable is that the new design of these alloy wheels adds significant amount of aerodynamics. It has this black ring and in combination with the AMG line exterior it has a gap in the front bumper so that the air flows very efficiently around the vehicle. And another characteristic that also thrilled the aerodynamic department is the one bow design. A beautiful coupe styling and what gave the final push for the 0.20 figure is this spoiler just in front of the wheel. Given the fact that this is an aeroacoustic wind tunnel, it benefits multiple purposes. Not only the aerodynamics, but it also measures the acoustic effects. So right now around 400 microphones are coming down Unfolds. And that's why behind me you can see the microphones and this is to measure the extremely good streamlined EQS. But of course for the interior you have another measurement tool. And this is also to measure, for example, the value add of acoustic gloss, double gloss for the S-Gloss and the EQS. So further in this video, I will show you the whole phase and the whole process of the aerodynamic center. This is not the only part. In total, you have four different curves that eventually in one circle is very efficient and comes back to the nozzle. So let's continue and we will go to the third curve. So let's go! In total there are four curves. And right now we are heading to the third one. As you can already see it bends and the ceiling starts to get higher. This is to let the air flow through the curves to the other side. And you can hear some echo
And there you can hear it has sound dampening materials. And this is for the microphones to be completely efficient and don't have any noise on the background from the air. Let's continue. And now let's continue to the last curve in this actually circle concept. This is a little deeper, so let's join me and I will walk you through. We are still walking, still walking. And there you can see some light because this is actually the jet style machine that produces the air pressure. Amazing. Right here you can't get through because anything that goes through the system will get crushed. So right now we are actually on the opposite side opposed to where we were just now. And this is the fan. And this fan is huge, extreme. It produces 5000 kilowatts. So 5 megawatts. So the air blows this direction into the first curve. So let's go through. And this part is very special. As you can hear, the sound has also disappeared because of the dampening materials. And right here, we have Mercedes-Benz largest radiator grill. Amazing. And this is for cooling down the air, around 600 cubic meters per hour. And right now we are on the opposite side of this radiator grill, coming to the final curve. And here it flows so that eventually the wind becomes homogeneous, which we'll see on the other side. So let's follow me. And again, the curve is very sound dampening. And there we come to the final place before it reaches the car. And this is the maze with the net behind it, very fine. And this makes the wind homogeneous and actually in a straight way. Amazing with the honeycomb details. So guys, thanks for watching Merz Benz King. I hope you liked this video with the EQS and the Aero Acoustic Wind Tunnel. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye. So here at Factory 56, this is the final station where the employees check the Mercedes-Benz from the exterior and the interior, so inside. Before I head into the factory, I have to slightly change my clothing and wear special protection boots. Let's go. And behind this door, the journey starts. Let's check out the Maybach and EQS features. So here at Factory 56, this is the final station where the employees check the Mercedes-Benz from the exterior and the interior, so inside. And that's why they're also wearing the gloves and the mask to be very clean and of course the front so let's check the Mercedes star if it is in position beautiful Maybach and now let's move over to this next flagship because as I mentioned before Mercedes-Benz is very proud to integrate a lot of models into one factory this is the first EQ model here in factory 56 together with the S-Class and the Maybach S-Class. So let's have a look here at the front and I will put on my other glove because this EQ is very special. It is the addition one, the EQS. And you can already notice some characteristics from the US-based models. This is going to be exported to the United States. You can see that from the reflectors on the side, typical characteristics for the US models. A beautiful Mercedes star. And now it is time to make some space for the workers and I will show you the whole process of how this car is being assembled. So let's start with step one. 
This is where the hyperscreen gets installed. This is Mercedes-Benz's best screen nowadays, 1 meter and 41 centimeters. So let's have a look how these two Mercedes-Benz experts do the job. So there the screen comes and it is very important to have all cables connected very precisely. This needs to be done by two employees in a very precise way. So guys, make sure you follow me on Instagram. The link is down below. And I have amazing content special for you about all new Mercedes-Benz vehicles. It has a two-tone interior color, gorgeous with a large gap, which is probably for the heads-up display with augmented reality. The display is already put in place, now only the last few screws. Let's put them in place. The last screw. Perfect. Cool. So these are the small AGVs. These are actually very smart systems that transport objects all around this facility. There are around 400 of these and this is currently empty. You can see that this hyperscreen is transported on this small AGV. But you can also see the AGVs that carry the chassis, for example of this Maybach and also the EQS that is coming down. And this complete hall is around 220,000 square meters. So you can imagine the extreme efficiency about how everything operates in this hall.